Hey y'all, I'm Lauren. And I'm Jordan. And today, we're just gonna give y'all a housing update, like a, a options video, basically. We're gonna tell y'all some options that you have as a Georgia State student, or just any student up here in Atlanta, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so from our mixed review, we've been getting on a lot of comments, a lot of DMs, mm -hmm. uh, people asking us where to stay, like, they want exact places to stay and we just gonna make this video to help y'all find the best option for you but we before um if y'all here looking for like names of straight up apartment complexes we don't really have none and we gonna tell y'all why when we get into this video the reason she said we don't have any specific to tell y'all is because to be honest the apartment that you get or the place you stay at depends on you you would have to look for it you would have to do your research read some reviews go to it to see what best suits you you see what i'm saying yeah you know what you're looking for specifically right just like when we look for our place to stay that we stay now we knew what we were looking for specifically we know what we value more than other things when it comes mm -hmm. to our apartment so it's hard for us to recommend an apartment to each individual person because we don't know that about you okay so let's get into the um housing options that gsu students do have and those are dorms you have on-campus apartments and then you have off-campus apartments so if you're looking if you're a freshman we definitely recommend you stay on campus in a dorm and the dorm we recommend is central that's where we stay we enjoyed our one year at Central. Central was not meant to be at more than one year. Got that right. <laughs> but we enjoyed our one year. So, like, the reason why we recommend for freshmen to stay at dorms is because you get to really experience that college life. As many of y'all know, Georgia State is not is already not a traditional campus. So, the time you get to spend at the dorm, you get to meet a ton of new people. You, like, socialize and you mean your friends y'all studying the same major stuff like that like you get to broaden your horizon and you know trying to kind of embrace that city living yeah i think that um staying in the um the dorms is like that step you need to mm -hmm. actually feel like you're in college you're a college student and it's like you're still kind of childish because you've been at home with your parents for 18 years right. of your life so i feel like the dorm for like for freshman year is a good transition into college like being out on your own and stuff like that like it's a good first step because i'm telling y'all now i know i received a lot of messages from freshmen well upcoming freshmen talking about staying at the mix and okay to each their own you know you got it if you want to stay at the mix so bad stay at the mix <laughs> but the thing is you're not really gonna get the same experience as you would if you were staying in a dorm your first year like coming from us we stayed in the mix as juniors so it was a completely different environment i know that we was juniors and not freshmen but it was just totally different because you're not seeing the type of people you would see when you in a dorm you're not socializing the way that you would at a dorm you know what i'm saying so yeah it's central we like that's how me and lauren met we met through like just seeing people in the hall always sitting out because your dorm has common areas people sitting right. out in common areas that's how you socialize with people that's how you make friends so we think if you're starting at a school that you don't really know anybody yet the dorm would be like a good way to make friends because you got to also remember the people that you meet in class are most likely commuters so if you need on-campus friends the dorm is the best way to find them all right so the next step now don't get me wrong just because we said central is our favorite one the other dorms are really well we still at the end of the day think that freshmen should stay on campus no matter which dorm you at because you still getting the same experience it's just that central is a little bit nicer than the rest yes and it's the newest freshman dorm mm -hmm. next we want to talk about commons which is for more so upperclassmen but don't like say oh i don't want to stay at commons because commons isn't horrible the thing with right. commons in a dorm compared to like an on-campus apart i meant like a student housing like student apartment and a regular apartment is is 
Commons is reliable. You're going through the school, you're paying through the school, you know your room is going to be there from August to December. Then when you pay again, January through, when does school get out? May. April? May. May. You know your room is going to be there. You already paid it. You don't have to worry about bills. You run your electricity, your water. Mm -hmm. You do all of that. You don't have to pay for anything. Also, I know a lot of people were messaging us talking about how they do not like their roommates. How do you get out of it? Mm -hmm. Living in an apartment. When you live in an apartment, especially like a non-student apartment, there is no getting out of it with your roommates. It's both an your name is on that lease. Y'all are paying that lease together for 12 months. So if you run into some trouble with your roommate, you better solve it or you're going to be miserable for the rest of your 12 months. Mm -hmm. My thing with comments is I see people, I see a lot of y'all like completely like putting comments out of the question and out of a, as an option but i would say consider comments because like i said it's not bad and to be honest i don't know what people expect from a dorm but it's a dorm like it's it's not an apartment it's a dorm so it's not gonna be five star top quality you living in the penthouse you know what i'm saying yeah. like i mean it's good for what it is and also it's cheaper it's way cheaper than anything downtown you walk across the street it's cheaper than any of that down there so i wouldn't put it out of the loop because at the end of the day it's basically like a second step like what we said about central you're just getting out of your parents house like well some of y'all i don't know everybody's situation but you just leaving home you've been sheltered your whole life you know you you taking that next step, you know, yeah. like it's like climbing a ladder, right? And we literally climbed the ladder our whole college career. We went from a freshman dorm to an upper class dorm to a mm -hmm. student apartment to a regular apartment. Like we didn't just jump into a regular apartment off the bat because that wouldn't have went too well. Like right. you need to, t I feel like personally you should take the steps. You can jump steps if you want to but this don't try to just opinion. jump into like i don't think you should just try to jump into an apartment jump into looking for a roommate because you don't like know the people and it's a this is a really big commitment to stay with right. somebody for 12 months on a lease that can ruin your credit if either one of y'all don't pay mm -hmm. that you be out of lights and neither either one of y'all don't pay you don't have no internet if either one of y'all don't pay like right. you don't need to just jump into it um, so the next step, like oh, we said, like we said, y'all, this is just our opinion. You know, if you, this is what we think, you know, cause at the end of the day, if you want to get an apartment, you go ahead and get your apartment, girl. Yeah, you get big and apartment. bad. <laughs> yes, you balling at that point. You need to get your apartment, girl. And let me see it. Do it like an apartment tour or something so I can see it. But about that kind of thing, like she said, it's a big commitment. Don't just jump into no apartment with anybody because we had a friend that they don't pay her bills <laughs> you you wouldn't have known that if you didn't take those steps and see that she didn't pay her bills when y'all was when she didn't have when you weren't gonna get kicked out you didn't have to worry about her not paying her bills mm -hmm. but if y'all in at least together your yeah, ass out too and your credit shot too mm -hmm. so don't like like do not rush Mm -hmm. in an apartment with somebody you do not like fully trust and when i say right. fully trust don't think why wouldn't she pay her bill? Don't right. think no man like that. Don't think no man like that. that you need to really bills. know. Like, you really need to know. Right. So, the next step, like we said, we took was the student apartment. So that, um, of course, y'all know, we stayed at the mix. We did, personally did not like the mix. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't recommend the mix. But let us tell you this right now, because a lot of people is like, if we can't go to the mix, where can we go? And the thing is, Bella I didn't Noche. even sound like Bella Noche, <laughs> but the thing is, guys, like, y'all got to remember, if you're trying to look for student housing, y'all options are limited. Yeah, they're limited. And I know we didn't mean to, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> ruin them. We didn't, listen. Our opinion on the mix was our opinion, and if you actually go to the Google reviews, you will see that's a lot of people's opinion as well. Um, yeah, some other stuff is going down in the mix, so make sure y'all check out that video as well as the Google reviews. But anyway, like we were saying, our opinion on the mix, some people love the mix, don't get me wrong. We personally didn't like the mix as a whole. Like, there were some really good things at the mix. 
We recently just toured um, student living in Midtown called UH Midtown. And it's basically the same thing, but the mix looks better. So you gotta really pick your battles. Like, you know, tour things out for yourself. Like yeah. you gotta choose like what you like. You UH Midtown was expensive. It is in Midtown. Mm -hmm. Midtown is not like the mix is a new build. UH Mid Midtown is not a new build, so it's not as nice as the mix. But I'm pretty sure people love it over there. Some people love the mix. You gotta go and see for yourself if right. you like it. Don't just take what we say and say. We not going to the mix because you don't have that many options when you're looking for somewhere to stay. Keep in mind what we said, but don't let that just go ahead and throw it out the loop for you. Like you said, just because it wasn't our cup of tea doesn't mean it might not be yours. So, cause um, personally looking at when we did go tour so we can have something to tell y'all, we personally realized then on the tour that we would rather take the trash that come along with the mix than have that ugly room we saw at UH Midtown. We right. like the newer build. Yes, the mix room was still cheap to us and we was paying a lot. Mm -hmm. But then once we saw that UH Midtown was like a little bit less, but it was really old. That was because of the deal though. That place is like $1,300 for some drywall, some exposed drywall. The whole wall concrete, in the back concrete. is concrete. <laughs> what kind of shit is, I'm not gonna get into that too much. But like I said, just pick your battles because at the end of the day, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not like the mix at all but compared to some stuff that we seen i go back <laughs> yes so take what we say and then go look at the mix for yourself if you really mm -hmm. need like student housing and then again we did say the mix is expensive but the mix is expensive compared to a regular apartment mm -hmm. not compared to another student housing there are right. some student housings that are cheaper than the mix around a thousand but they are still up there compared to what we're paying now at a regular apartment. Right. See, now that's the thing. Now that now, now that is what I really like. I personally recommend going to get a real apartment. Yes, you won't have to travel a little bit, but we only live like 15 minutes away from campus, which is not bad at all. And we don't have to get on major highways or anything like that. Like it's it's a good. straight shot, pretty right? Much. Right. But the thing is. Student living, you paying a hell of a lot for to stay on that little campus. Leave that shit alone. <laughs> Go get an apartment. Hunt, please. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've been getting a lot of DMs. I really enjoy talking to y'all. I really do. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I can't find you an apartment for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't find it for you. I'm all I'm all about answering y'all questions. Like, if you got questions that I can answer, like things that I know about, but I can't find y'all apartment for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like, do your research, read some reviews, go take tours. You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Yeah, you gotta find someone who can help you out. Someone you know has similar tastes to you to help you find your apartment. Cause <clears throat> even in our case, even I knew what Lauren liked, but I found our place. I just sent her to places. We toured them. You got to look for stuff for yourself. Mm -hmm. I knew Lauren don't know nothing about up here. She so she don't know. She didn't know personally where to stay. I knew where I wanted to stay because I live. I live 40 minutes away from here. I knew what was a good in between. I didn't know this so, city was here. <laughs> so I personally said, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to find the apartments around here. We're going to tour them and we're going to choose one that we like. That's how we got the place we stay right now. But we cannot help you in that way because even though our place is 15, away, 15 minutes away from Georgia State, there are so many cities around um, Atlanta that are also 15 minutes away from Georgia State. We personally stay on the east side. Y'all might like the north. Y'all might like the west. Y'all might like the South. If that's what you like, that's Ooh. what you <laughs> like. Go there. Wait. We cannot like we cannot like say, oh, you should stay here. Because y'all might not like the east side. That's all we know. We don't know nothing else, yeah. nowhere else. And another thing about that is Yes, take our opinion as far as what like what we said about the mix. Yes, take it into consideration. But the thing is, we all have different tastes. You might not like, me and Jordan taste might not be what you like. You might like traditional. We personally like a more modern side of things. And 
we like a different aesthetic, so you might not like that. Like we, people tend to call what we like, like bougie. But the thing is, we bougie, but ain't got no damn money. So, <laughs> yeah, that's our problem. That's one, another thing. Y'all don't have to be spending as much money on an apartment as we, we spend. Do. But I'm not sleeping in no closet. <laughs> oh, there's people who pay that. less than, there's people who pay less than us rooms bigger than us, but that's, we took that because we like the place we, we liked what we saw, mm -hmm. like cabinet wise, lights wise. We I got an island. Yes, we like that, and we took we value that more than we value the bedroom. We sleeping in cracker boxes right now compared to uh, the big. Compared to the mix, <laughs> we are sitting in cracker boxes because the mix room is huge. Now that's the only thing. The mix room is huge. However, don't shit on my place. My place. No, nice it looks look good. good. That's what I'm this saying. Place it looks good, but our rooms are tiny. Yes. But we fine with it because that's what we wanted. You might not be willing to sacrifice a big room for some nice cabinets. Right. <laughs> this place and a wine rack. <laughs> this place is this place is a little this place is smaller than the mix. But guess what? It looks a thousand times better. <laughs> it sure do. And that's what we wanted. We wanted somewhere that look nice. Mm -hmm. Another thing we also look for is interior hallway. Mm -hmm. You might not care about walking up to your front door, but we personally don't want nobody walking up to the front door. You got that right. <laughs> I'm not saying a motel, but like I said, see what I'm saying? You might like motel. I call it motel. I don't like motel. So, you know, I don't personally don't yourself. say it's a motel. I just personally don't feel safe with people that being able to is, walk up to my door. You know why you don't feel safe? Because <laughs> that shit is a motel. Yeah, but some people like some people That's are fine saying. with that. Like this is a perfect example. You say hotel, I say motel. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of factors that come into play when it comes to finding your perfect apartment. Mm. You need to like you know your budget. You know um, what you like. I had friends. She asked me, "Can you find me a place to stay over by y'all?" I said, "Girl, what's your budget?" She gave me the budget. I said, you going to have to keep on. <laughs> I can't do that. Please. I said, like, I'm not, not even trying to be dirty or nothing like that. Because personally, her budget was more paying for one person than I could personally afford. We split everything. So, it's yeah. fine with me. Like, I can do it. But I was like, you going to have to move on. Like, I only know how to find stuff that I like, which tends to be expensive. That tends to, personally to me, look nicer. Same. She's okay with stuff that's cheaper that doesn't look like the stuff we stay in. But that's not my cup of tea personally. I'd rather stay at Commons than go buy a little apartment that I find rinking in pretty much. You <laughs> Yeah, let's see me at Central before I stay in the crap of <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Listen, I listen, I know at the beginning of the video we was trying so hard to be professional to keep it straight up, but I'm being honest with y'all. <laughs> Your shit you like might not be my kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You might think my shit, my place is ugly as fuck, but guess what? Can't tell me that because I think my shit cute as fuck. Yeah, I like where I stay. Honest and truly. You can't nobody tell me this shit is ugly because it's not. Now that's one thing. I know for a fact this shit is not ugly. It's not. But I mean, even with the place we chose, at first I was kind of like, it was looking a little too. I'm not a glam type person. Yes, I am more of a. I'm a like, glam bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. I mean, if you see our like, it's not my cup of tea. I just personally stopped looking at it too hard. I didn't care for the wine rack. Lauren liked the wine rack. I could have went without the wine rack. No, that's fancy as fuck. <laughs> 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 Dad. And back to what we were saying. Our cup of tea might not be y'all cup of tea. Might be your lemonade. Y'all cup of tea might not be our cup of tea. And that it is. Y'all might care a little bit more about budget than we did. We cared about budget. We did push it a little bit. My mom said we don't care about budget. <laughs> Mine do too. <laughs> we pushed it a little bit. My mama said we got um, Mercedes Benz mines with hot wheel budget. Mercedes Benz taste with hot wheel budget. Mm -hmm. But we made it work. As long as my hot wheel got the butterfly though. <laughs> girl, this ain't no hot wheel. This is the Mercedes. I know it is, girl. This ain't no Mercedes. This is G Wagon. This, this Mercedes, G Wagon. This Mercedes get paid with this hot wheel. Do y'all know budget. how many G Wagons we pass in the parking lot up in here? 
mm -hmm. the doctor stand here, the lawyer stand here, mm -hmm. bad ass kids here. You right. Pay too much for them bad kids to be down the hall. We honestly y'all. <laughs> you know how sometimes you have like people be saying like you got luxury like this rich ass neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They always, the hood rats seem to just slither this way in sometimes. We got a good ass deal here. We slither, <laughs> we slither our way up in here. Yes, y'all. And that's another thing. People ask us where we stay and it's like. We can't tell y'all not because the price went up. It went up too high and we would just be lying to y'all to tell y'all to come over here and tell y'all this cheaper than the mid. Right. <laughs> Y'all, it ain't cheaper than the mix. <laughs> well, regular price. Well, we pay. Well, I mean, we it's pay. still a little bit cheaper than the mix, but I mean, if look you got at what we people, getting, yeah, it look good. Yeah. So I, like I would rather. Honestly, we pay less than the mix. We do pay less than the mix, but that's just because we got the deal. This ain't. This is not less than the mix. Regular day. <laughs> but yeah. This is way like, better uh, than mix. Now, if they had told me mix price, this do look way better. I'd pay this. If now, if the mix came with some shit like this, I'd pay it. Like, we're not trying to make it seem like we big baller. We're not big baller. I told At you all. we made that little budget work. We made that how we a budget work. Exactly. Like we said, that was the deal. That's why when some of y'all ask me, where you stay, where you stay, I just don't want to feel like a hypocrite. Because the thing is, you go look at this room where we stay at right now, today, on the website. How I heard it. $400 more than what we pay. And we don't want to, like, because, honestly, like, I, like, when I tell you, like, I search high and low for our apartments, I search for apartments for a good, like, three months. Like, constantly checking the website. Like I said, I was going to make that budget work. Mm -hmm. We had a budget, and I was going to make it work. And we had a look. We was not going <laughs> to no... <laughs> but, um... Yeah, yeah, so... Honestly, if you... I always say, if you want it bad enough, you're going to get it. Exactly. We, we, we toured place as a place. We toured so many places, but every time, this place won. Yeah. Every single time. And the thing that's crazy, the price had went up on us. We waited like it was like four days. Yes, we was waited four days and the price went over there. It was lower than this. Yes. Seven hundred. Yeah, and that price went up. And like when I tell y'all, like I was, I was checking prices like five times a day because I was trying to get that price right on the head, like right where we needed it. Mm -hmm. That price increased and we went. We started signing papers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah, increased on us no more. Mm -hmm. It was not. I'm really happy with the room we got. I love it here. Honestly, like I told y'all, I hate the mix, but I love it here. We have had a couple bumps in the road here, but the thing is, after experiencing the mix and how we felt about the mix, they could the shoot us and I'd be happy about it. <laughs> like, I don't care. They literally be doing, like, they'll do something that's not necessarily right, but it's fine because they not shitting on us as bad as the meat seeds. So if you wanna um, list the student livings, the look at, we say try UH Midtown. We didn't care for it, but I like the courtyard. This. Honestly, it wasn't terrible. Personally, I feel like UH Midtown is better than Camden and 112. Mm -hmm. So. You know, that's like it's like that. You just gotta pick and see which one you like. Yeah, order. go right. and get them all. Right, make your list and choose whichever one on the top. Exactly, because out of this list, the mix is the best as far as appearance. But appearance isn't everything. Like you gotta look into rent, look into management, staff. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Don't just settle for one thing right off the bat. Take your time, read reviews, go tour. Think about comments. Don't let them <laughs> trap you in no leaves mm -hmm. without touring as many times as you need. If you need right. to come back, come back. Leasing officers, they know what's from the time we tour because we gonna come back. <laughs> <laughs> got that right. Everybody know we, we, we I don't even gotta say my, I don't gotta say shit when I Hello Lauren, how can I help you today? <laughs> we gonna call our back. Uh -huh. We gonna call back. We <laughs> we took a tour and can't remember how many cabinets are there. We coming back to tour again. <laughs> We, we gonna do <laughs> That's the thing because 
we gonna make sure it's right. Right. I had a question. Someone DM me and asked me how did we how we got out of our lease from the mix. Trinae literally got tired of seeing us. We got kicked out of the mix here. To be honest, we got kicked out. Trinae said. Technically, I'm gonna try to say deal with this today. I'm gonna cancel this lease today because they they aggravate me. I don't got time to deal with this. And I'm so glad that she's a smart woman for that because we was prepared to cuss her out that day. That's crazy. We was prepared. We was gonna cuss her ass out that day. The mix don't care about y'all, yeah. <laughs> that don't go out there unless you absolutely have to go comments. And that go for comments because save yourself the heartache, the headache. In the ass <laughs> Alright y'all. That's the end of my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to tell another friend. Tell another friend. Oh y'all also ring the little bell. And we gonna create a playlist. Cause we gonna give y'all a little bit more tips. On Georgia State. I don't know when they coming. But they coming. Mm -hmm. And y'all need to watch them. Cause we trying to help y'all out. We are sorry that we have been gone for a couple weeks. Because... I don't know if it's Jordan jinxing us because I don't know if y'all have been watching all the videos too, but she always saying, and we're going to post every Monday and Wednesday. We mean it, y'all. We for real. I think that's jinxing us. But all right, y'all. We'll see y'all in our next video and I won't be looking like a dog. You ain't nothing but a dog. Rolling the street. You ain't do it right. It's like this. <laughs> Wait, did it just do it? Uh -huh. We can edit it. Okay, what about this? Ready? Uh -huh. Wait, I gotta do it slow? Dang. Look at that. Get that Pandora out there. Don't say that. That's stupid. <laughs> I mean, this is. That right? No, this is not. This is fucking. Um, <laughs> what? They say corpse. <laughs> Countertop. <laughs>